This is MC Codger saying welcome back, and this is episode 52, and my screen looks different because I'm not playing Minecraft today, but I'm introducing you to a few resources, well, one resource in particular here in episode 52, and that is the, epi uh, is the resource of Minotaur. It's a, it's, a, it's a mapping program that will allow you to map and see the worlds that you create in Minotaur, and it's really cool. But first, let's show you how to get it. Um, here's the caution. You know, things are really... Uh, it's not always safe to download things from the Internet. As an example, I have this search engine, and I searched up this. I came up with this one, Minotaur Minecrafting. Oh, whoa, look. My web advisor says, hold on a minute. Are you sure you want to go there? Uh, it might be risky. Do you want to accept the risk? Well, maybe it's not a problem, but I don't take the chance, so I'm not going there, okay? Uh, so what I'll do is instead come back here to uh, one that I looked at earlier, Minecraft uh, uh, Informer. Here's the, the link that I used. Uh, we'll go here to, and you get on these pages frustrating. Say, okay, download now. Well, no, that's not what you're looking for. This one says is for driver update. This one's for, so you can download all kind of stuff. If you push the wrong button, you just got to pay real close attention to what button you're pushing. So Minotaur 1.5, I'm looking at all versions. Uh, there's a version 2, actually, which is uh, uh, more advanced than 1.5. So we'll click that one. Uh, safe download. It's downloading, and as we speak, uh, I've downloaded it once before, so we see down here in my lower corner, and this is for PC, obviously. For Mac, it would be different, and, uh, uh, and I don't even think there is a Minotaur available for the uh, 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 Xbox version, but uh, here, we, once we've got this in place, we click on that. It opens up the uh, installation wizard. Click it. Next. Here we go. Now we're installing it one more time. Uh, opens up to uh, tell you you can choose where to put it. Click on the installation to begin the installation. There we go. And now we're installing it once more. And this may update it. I had an older version on there, so this may give me a newer version of Minotaur, hopefully so. Uh, and we just wait for it to install. And there it's done. Now click finish to exit. We finish it. And it should be all done there. Now uh, let me get out of here and see if we can uh, see if we can fire it up. Okay, here we go. Let me go to program files in my C drive, and uh, should have Minotaur there. There it is, Minotaur. Open that up. There's our Minotaur. Double click that, and it opens up our uh, application. I'm going to just make this window a little bit bigger, and I'm going to go up here to File and Open World. I'm going to go down here to Codger's World 04, which is the one we've been using. And there is our, our world, a map of our world. Uh, it defaults to your spawn point, so that's the island where we spawned on. And then we went down there, went south, and there's our northern village. And then we kept on going further south, further south. There's the road we built. Uh, and all the world that was rendered around that. And that's our southern village. And so I can use my scroll uh, scroll button to uh, zoom in. And you can zoom in pretty close to the point where you, there's our, our uh, redstone. See on the lower left, you can see it, sh it tells you what you're pointing at. So I'm pointing at uh, a torch here. Now I'm pointing at a redstone lamp, which is off. Pointing at the grass. There's the uh, oak wood stairs, which forms the roof. So it, it'll identify all of these things. Uh, there's our stairs going down to our mine. Uh, but the cool thing is, if you look up here at the top bar across here, that sets your height. Notice your X and Z coordinates down below. So I can put my, you know, here's my tower, the glowstone tower, at X coordinate 120, Z coordinate 3209, as an example. And at the upper right, you'll see it's at the height, looking from a height of 255 blocks up. And you can uh, scroll this down, just move this down, and you look at what you see is like a cross-section, one layer. And there is, for instance, all of our redstone that we laid out 
uh, for, here's another one I did too that I didn't, didn't show you, all the redstone that we laid out for our uh, redstone lamp uh, walkway, our photocell controlled walkway. And uh, there you can see the, the going down towards my mine. Uh, just watch how that goes. Uh, you can see my tunnel and every once in a while a torch going down, going down. And you can see uh, once it gets down to my, yeah, there it is. There's uh, the where I have my uh, my little room down there, and this is the torches in my shaft. Okay, and you can see what's beautiful about this is I can look over here and say, ah, at 166, level 15. 3146Z, there's a bunch of iron ore, and there is some redstone ore, and there is some gold ore, and then over here is some diamond ore at 182, uh, 15 height, and 3185, and there's some lapis lazuli. So I can go around and I can see where everything is. I can see where the lava is, where the water is, where the diamond is, where the iron ore is, where the coal is. Uh, you can see where all this stuff is using Minotaur. And uh, that is a really handy tool. So you, can, uh, you, you know what the world's about because you have a map. Uh, and that is uh, just one of, my, one of my favorite resources to use alongside Minecraft that helps you in your Minecraft gameplay. I just wanted to show you that. And this is MC Codger saying we will see you next time.